हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल कैम सॉल्यूशन होप ऑल यू आर डूइंग वेल प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर द एग्जाम सो टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट चैप्टर क्वेश्चंस व्हिच आर वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर द बोर्ड एग्जाम्स सो प्लीज प्लीज बी विथ मी एट द एंड ऑफ द वीडियो सो आई कैन एक्सप्लेन यू गुड एंड प्लीज लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल ओके सो फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन Write the difference between molarity and molar molality in solution. Uh, first of all, molarity it is denoted by big M, which is number of moles of solute in one liter of solution. One liter of solution. that will be the molarity okay second one molality will be denoted by small m number of moles of solute divided by mass of solvent in kg mass of solvent kg okay so you can see here molarity is dependent on temperature and molality is independent of temperature because volume is dependent on temperature exactly so you have to take solution here in the molarity and in molarity you have to take the solvent clear next question uh, write derive uh, derive integrated rate equation for rate constant of first order reaction the first order reaction you can see in first order reaction here we can see uh, here r is equal to k rate constant kt plus i it will be the for, for first order reaction we have taken time zero and uh, the initial uh, uh, the rate of reaction will be r zero the initial reactant okay initial so what will the reaction form that will be r not is equal to i if we taken t zero and r R not, then R R not will become I, and uh, equating this equation, uh, taking logarithm, we will see this equation. This equation will get first order equation. So you can uh, write in your in your copy this equation. It is first order reaction equation differentiation. Clear. Next question. Uh, first of all. Uh, uh, explain the following observation transition element generally form colored compounds why because of presence of unpaired electrons paired unpaired electrons see what happen um, in transition elements they while they form color because because of degree transition they have unpaired electrons uh, they radi- they absorb some light absorb some radiation from visible light region and uh, then excite their electrons to uh, upper level and naturally they show color okay due to unpaired electrons they naturally do not uh, uh, itself do not uh, show color but if they form compounds with other ion or molecule they will form color okay so the reason is unpaired electron presence of unpaired electron second question zinc is not regarded as transition element See, zinc is not regarded as transition element. The condition for the transition element is to be should have half filled d orbital. But in zinc is have zinc have fully filled d orbital. Fully filled d orbital in ground state. Fully filled d orbital in ground state as well as excited state. so the electronic configuration of zinc will be argon 3d10 and 4s2 clear it is a uh, fully filled that's why it is not act as a transition regarded as a transition element clear next question what is the meaning of disproportionation mm-hmm. write one example disproportionation reaction it is a type of redox reaction in which one element simultaneously tenuously go oxidize and get reduce 
both one element oxidize also and reduce also that is known as this proportion reaction the example of this proportion reaction would be hydrogen peroxide i am writing the reaction here hydrogen peroxide h2o2 uh, this proportion reaction where hydrogen peroxide is decomposed to give water h2o and oxygen this will lead the disproportionate reaction the same element is undergoing oxidation and reduction clear next question moving to next question on the basis of valence bond theory vbt it is from the coordination compound explain the oxygen state hybridization geometry and magnetic nature of complex cof6 3 minus very important question so let's see the answer first of all you can see cof6 3 minus if you uh, central atom is co so you have to take the oxidation state as x uh, there are six f uh, so minus one will be the oxidation state of f and minus three will be on the right, right hand side then the x is equal to three what is the oxidation state uh, of co will be plus three clear due to it have one paired electrons that why it is it have parametric nature and geometry is like octahedral you can see the geometry here octahedral geometry <coughs> according to C, uh, vbt uh, and crystal field theory the splitting should be there so you can uh, see there uh, the hybridization will be sp3d2 sp3d2 will be hybridization because these are the vacant orbitals are there clear uh, so this is the good question according to the exam so next next question i will play uh, what what do you understand by primary structure of sec and secondary structure of protein primary structure is a basic structure actually you can see there are four structure of protein primary secondary tertiary and quaternary we are have to differentiate this two only primary and secondary first of all uh, primary is a basic structure and uh, linear sequence of amino acid only the linear sequence of amino acid is there and only one polypeptide chain is there only one polypeptide one polypeptide okay in secondary structure you can see next level up uh, to primary level the regular folding of regions into specific structural patterns without within a, a polypeptide chain there is a folded these are the folded structure you can see here like this these are the folded structure that is known as the secondary protein that is the structure of protein i hope you understand this next question will be what is shift reagent what is used for explain with the help of chemical equation first of all shift reagent there is a test shift test shift reagent is a product of sodium bisulfite sodium by sulfite and fushan okay it is used for the differentiate of aldehyde and ketone aldehyde and ketone and the chemical reaction you can write from your ncert book clear so the next question uh, complete the following reaction c6h5cl plus ch3cl uh, in the presence of anhydrous alcl so what it will give it will give c6h5 plus hcl plus alcl3 clear if you will balance the reaction let it be balance 7 here it will be 6 here and uh, 13 alc will be there and you can get 8 c6h5 13 hcl and 13 alc3 clear next uh, product will be ch3ch will give you have to uh, break this bond so what will the product the product will be ch3ch ch2 okay this product will be known as 2 iodo propane 2 iodo propane 
three carbons are there so prop iodo group is there okay so three iodo propane ch3 chi ch3 chi ch2 next reaction ch3 ch2h and thionyl chloride this is known as thionyl chloride what will happen cl will take place here and the product will be the pro in the presence of heat the product will be ch3 ch2 cl plus so2 and hcl gas will release clear next question what to understand by hydroboration oxidation reaction hydroboration oxidation reaction what do you mean by hydroboration oxidation reaction is it is a two state hydration reaction that transport transform an alkene an alkene or alkyne into alcohol or aldehyde here and what will be the example example of propene on hydroboration oxidation gives prop prop one all okay so this is the question we will moving on to the next question now uh write the uh, what are uh, this is the conversion reaction okay ethane to bromo ethane ethane to bromo ethane first of all uh, the reaction will be ch3 CS3 in the presence of Br2, okay, HV light, it will convert to bromoethane CS3, CH2, Br. Clear. Second question is propene to I nitropropane. You can see this reaction in the presence of perox uh, peroxide. It is taking place. Propene to I nitropropane is there. Okay, third question is toluene to benzyl chloride, benzyl alcohol. Toluene to this is toluene, benzene group. Uh, you have methyl group on the benzene in the presence of Cl to HP. First of all, it will it will give benzyl chloride, and then will be benzyl alcohol there in the presence of alcoholic KOH. KOH. I hope you like this video, and uh, please be with me for the, uh, more videos. So please like and subscribe my channel. Thank you.